Hello everyone, this is my next video. Today I am going to explain lead code question number 142, linked list cycle 2. Given the end of a linked list, return the node where the cycle begins. If there is no cycle, return null. Basically what they given, they given end of a linked list, we need to return the node if there is a cycle. If there is no cycle, we need to return null. There is a cycle in a linked list if there is some node in the list that can be reached again by continuously following the next pointer. Internally, position is used to denote the index of the node that this next pointer is connected to the zeroth index. If it is minus 1, if there is no cycle. Note that POS is not passing as a parameter. What the given question? See this, the tail node will is connected to the any index of the pointer. Okay. And we need to, if there is a uh, connection between one pointer is connected to other pointer, means we will tell there is a cycle and we are returning that node. Okay. If there is no cycle, means we are returning minus one. In the input, see what they given. Three is connected to two, two is connected to zero, zero is connected to minus four. And the position they given one. Okay, tail connects to the no index 1. Okay, and a given explanation there is a cycle in the linked list which tail connects the second node. In example 2, see the given head equals to 1, comma 2, position 0. See, your tail node is connected to the index 0. Okay, and there is a cycle in the linked list where tail connects to the first node. In example 3, see there is a only one node, position is minus 1, so there is no cycle. Uh, we are tell, we, they give an explanation, there is no cycle in the linked list. Let's we can briefly understand in the whiteboard. See what the given question, they give an on linked list, okay, on end of the linked list. Your tail is connected to the uh, node, okay. We need to return, if there is a cycle means, we need to tell where from where it is connected. If there is no cycle means, we will display this no cycle. Okay, what I am using the logic, I am using your unordered set. Basically what I will do, I will add this node in the set if it is not present okay uh, just i will move one node after the uh, after the inserting when the uh, node is repeating then i will come to know that there is a cycle in the linked list okay starting my two two is not present in an order set just i will be inserting next my it will be pointing to this node okay three three is not present in the list set and just i will insert next my pointer will be pointing to this four it is not present, just I will be inserting. Now my head will be pointing to this pipe. It is not there, just I will be inserting. Now my head will be comes to this three. Uh, now I will be inserting three. See three is already present. Then I will come to know that there is a cycle in the linker list. Okay. You see in, the, in this example, you can observe. Starting my head will be pointing to this first node. It is not present, just I will be insert one. I will move to my head to two. 2 is not present, just I will be inset. Now my head will be pointing to this 3. It is not present, just I will be inserting. Now my head will be pointing to null. When it reaches null, then I will come to know that there is a no cycle. This is a single linked list. Okay. This is the logic I am using by using unordered set. We can enter into the coding part. We give a function detect cycle. We are passing the parameters of head. It is a list node type. Okay. After that, we created an unordered set. It is a list node with the name of S. Okay. This condition will work until my head should not reach as null. Okay. When it reaches null, we are coming out of this while loop. I am finding that node is present in the set. If it is present, means I will be returning head. Okay. If it is not present, just I will be inserting that head. My head will be pointing to the next node. Okay. After completion of entire nodes, I will be returning null if there is no cycle is found. If it is found, means I will be returning this head. If it is going to work, let's we can dry run now. Here I am passing the parameter of head. Setting my head will be pointing to this three. Now I created an unordered set. Okay. After that, I will be checking this head is present in the set or not. If it is not present, just I will be inserting. This will be working. Just I will be inset three. Now my head will be pointing to this two. It is not present, just I will be inserting. Now my head will be pointing to 0. It is not present, just I will be inserting. Now my head will be pointing to this minus 4. It is not present, just I will be inserting. Okay. Now my head will be pointing to this 2. It is, uh, I will see, it is present in the set or not. Yeah, it is present. It is present means I will be returning head. I will be returning this 2. See, tail connects to the node of index 1. Just I will display this one. Okay, this is the logic of this code. In this logic, let's we can discuss the time complexity and space complexity. The time complexity is taken big of one because we are using your while loop, it will traverse all the nodes. So it is taking the time of big of n. 
where comes to the space complexity it is taking big of n because we are creating here unordered set it is takes the space of big of n okay let's we can run the code now yeah this is accepted solution there is another better solution with space complexity of big of 1 let's we can discuss that one in this logic i am taking two pointers one is slow and other is fast if slow will move by one step my fast will be moved by two steps see both are pointing to this end node okay my slow and my fast and it at first iteration my slow will be pointing to this third node and my fast will be pointing to this fourth node okay in second iteration my slow will be pointing to this fourth node my fast will be pointing to this three because it is one step it is two step now my slow will be pointing to this fifth node now my fast will be moving now my fast will be moving now my fast will pointing to this fifth node one step second step see it at any time my fast and slow are meeting at the same node that time i will break okay i will break now my slow will be again back it is uh, pointing to this end node this will work when my slow is not equals to fast when my slow and fast will become equal that node we will tell it is started and we will tell there is a cycle see in this time my slow also pointing by one step my fast will also be pointing to one step okay now my slow will be pointing to this three see my fast is all is in the fifth node it will move by one step it will comes to this three see both are pointing to this node then i will be returning slow uh, where tail node is connected to the this third node and we are returning this one and we are telling that there is a cycle in the linked list see so, where comes to this example my slow and my fast are pointing to this node okay now my slow will move by one step my fast will be move by two now when my first of null it becomes null first of next is equals to null then i will tell there i will reach it at the end there will be no cycle okay this is the logic let's we can enter into the coding part now see if there is a only one node or there is no node means directly we are returning null for example there is a two means we are directly we are returning null okay this is a base condition after that we are taking two pointers one is slow and one fast both are pointing to the end node okay uh my while will work until my first should be not equals to null and first of next should not equals to null this condition is true means these statements will be executed then my slow will point by one step my first will point by two step when my slow and first both are pointing to the same node just i will break and i'll come out of this while loop okay after that i will check again my first equals to equals to null or first of next equals to null any one condition is true means i will be returning null okay and then i will come to know that there is no cycle now my slow will be pointing to the again end i will check the condition slow and should be not equals to fast then the condition is true means my slow will move by one step and my fast also will move by one step but in this case my fast is moving by two steps okay after when reaches its condition when slow is not equals to fast then i will come out of this while loop i will be returning slow let's we can dry run then you will understand See, is a base condition. Ed equals to equals to null or ed of next equals to null. Yeah, the ed is a nodes. So this condition will not. The slow and fast are pointing to this ed node. This is a ed node is three. Okay, my slow and fast are pointing to this node. Okay, we will check the condition. Fast is not equals to null. Yeah, this condition is true. The fast of next is not equals to null. Yeah, these are having uh, nodes. Okay, then we are pointing my slow by one step and my fast by two steps. See, my slow will be pointing to this two, and my fast will be pointing to zero node. And this condition is true. My slow will be pointing to this zero node. My fast will be pointing to the minus four two. It will move by two steps. Okay. Now my slow will be move, pointing to this minus four. My fast will be pointing to this minus four. One step, two step. At one point, my slow and fast are meeting at the same node. Then I will break. I will come out of this while loop. Okay. Now I will check the condition. Fast is equal to equal to null. No, and first of next is also not equal to null because there is a no, there is there is a circular linked list. Okay, so I'm not returning null. This if happen, then we will tell there is no cycle. Now slow is pointing to this end. My slow will be pointing to this three. My fast will be here only. Okay, my slow will be moved by one step. My fast also will be moved by one step. 
my slow will be moved by one step now my slow will be pointing to this two okay now my fast will be moved by one step my fast will move by one step so if both are at same node then what i will do i will return slow because this condition will become false uh, we are coming out of this while loop we are returning slow my slow is two so expression tail connects to the node index one that i will be printed okay this is the logic next we can discuss the time complexity and space complexity of this logic the time complexity is taken big of n because we are using while loop it will traverse all the nodes so it is take a time of big of n when it comes to the space complexity is taken big of 1 because we are not using any extra space it takes only constant amount of space we are taking is uh, just variables like slow and fast so it is taking a space of big of 1 let's we can run the code yeah this is accepted we can submit the code now yeah this is accepted solution thank you guys for watching my video if you like this video please like